So one of the problems with hearing loss is that the onset tends to be very gradual. For our patients that have a sudden hearing loss, they rush in and do something about it. But most people, it's, uh, it's happening very gradually. And the idea of having hearing tested is scary, especially uh, if the idea of, of, a, of a hearing loss is what they're worried about. And so people tend to put it off. And the, the data shows us somewhere around seven to 10 years delay before someone actually comes in and, and uh, has their hearing tested. Now, can there be problems if I don't come in and have my hearing tested? Absolutely. There's a few things that, that people don't realize. So um, because the hearing loss tends to affect only a certain area of their hearing, um, they, they develop coping mechanisms. And so we find out ways that we can get by. And uh, the problem with doing that is that we don't realize the price we're paying. So some of the things that are happening in the background is that people are, are um, have more cognitive load. They're using more mental effort. So it can be more tiring. Uh, it can have uh, effects on things like memory and, and other things that we would be doing at the same time because we're channeling all our energy into being able to, to decipher what we're hearing and what we're missing. So uh, we'll be trying to figure out in the back of our mind, whoa, did they say um, sip or sit, right? We're trying to distinguish those consonant sounds that might be missing and uh, don't realize that, that they're working a lot harder than they need to. And um, what's really unfortunate is that there have been uh, a lot of studies to show that there are um, issues with cognitive decline and, and things along those lines that can happen when we're dealing with an untreated hearing loss. So um, it's just one of the, the many reasons why we'd want to do something sooner rather than later. I imagine it would also be sort of like, like it would cause you to fold in on yourself if you didn't want to admit that you had a hearing problem. You know, you wouldn't ask folks to repeat themselves. Absolutely. So uh, people find it uh, embarrassing. They second guess themselves, can affect their confidence. And so uh, it has impacts in a lot of domains, our, our work domain. Uh, there's, there's data to show that it can affect our earning potential, um, our social domain in terms of lost in intimacy or confidence, those kinds of things. And these are some of the reasons why we believe it's, it's linked with cognitive decline because of that social withdrawal. Um, if you're uh, not as confident in those social interactions, you're, you're, you might be present in attendance, but you're not actually participating. And so um, you're, you're withdrawing socially. And it can happen to the degree where you might even uh, avoid certain social situations. Oh, my friends are going to go out to dinner. I'm maybe not going to do that because I know it's going to be a challenging uh, environment. And um, that withdrawal is one of the reasons why we believe cognitive decline is linked with uh, even a mild hearing loss. So if I had a hearing loss, um, I mean, I know like my dad has hearing aids and they're not like, I remember as a child, my grandfather had these huge hearing aids and now they're just, you know, you can barely see them. I forget he's wearing them. So it's not perhaps as embarrassing once you start the process. Is that true? Absolutely. I mean, we tell this to patients all the time. It's, it's far more visible to have a hearing loss than it is to have a hearing aid. Um, when you smile and nod and you should have done one of these, it's, it's apparent to everybody else in the room. When you miss the punchline to a joke and you're staring blankly, that's far more obvious than a piece of technology. And hearing aids have really become technology at this point. Um, a lot of technology is, is uh, so discreet that you wouldn't notice. I've had numerous patients sort of eager to go home and the family is going to notice that they've finally taken this step towards better hearing. And um, they're waiting for everyone to notice and nobody notices because there's nothing to notice. It's very discreet. <laughs> Um, a lot of the technology looks like technology now. It's, uh, it's more familiar. It looks like a Bluetooth device. And in fact, it is a Bluetooth device. Our, our technology is connecting to things like cell phones and televisions and things like that. And so it's really oh, wow. allowing individuals to live the life they want to live. So uh, we, we need to change our mentality to, of looking at it like a crutch or, or something like that. It's really allowing us to live our best version of ourselves. If I didn't really want to admit that I really should probably come in for a test, is there a first step that I could take that's perhaps a little easier? The, the idea of getting hearing tested is, is, is scary for some people. And so absolutely, one of the easiest things we can offer is uh, we have online screeners that have, have gotten really reliable. So our, our website, hearingsolutions.ca, um, has a screener. You go on there, uh, and based on the results, you can decide whether or not a, a full assessment is necessary or whether you can put it off for, for a year or two longer. Um, that being said, coming in and having your hearing tested should be a pretty comfortable process. We're really just seeing what's going on there. And when if we, we do find uh, news that you maybe aren't thrilled to hear, um, well, at least you're equipped with that information. You can decide what to do with it because the reality is it's happening whether we uh, confront it or not. And so at least if we're equipped with all the information, we can decide what we want to do with that information.